Welcome back to Mathwino. Calculate this fraction. Oh my god, it's so complicated. So what should I do? Of course, the first thing is observation. Have a look at the factors. They have the same form. Look, 3 to the power 4 then plus 4. 7 to the power 4 then plus 4. 11 to the power 4 then plus 4. 5 to the power 4 then plus 4, blah, blah, blah. So what's the form? Of course, n to the power 4, then plus 4. So that's the general form. Then, what should we do? We have found out the general form. n to the power 4, then plus 4. As our next step, what should we do? Maybe you have an idea. Think up. Of course, the answer is factorization. So easy. However, the same is not easy. How should we factorize this term, this polynom? Take a look at the exponent, 4. And then, here is also, the number is also 4. So we should do. As our next step, of course, we should write this n to the power 4 as n squared and n squared. We have to. Hmm. It looks better, doesn't it? And then plus 4. This 4, it can, it can also be written as a square. 2 squared. So now, n to the power of 2 all squared and 2 squared. They are both squared numbers or squared terms. a squared, b squared. Of course, if you want to factorize it successfully, or definitely, we lack a 2 times a b. So now, we lack a 2 times a b. That means 2 times a is n squared. b is 2. We have added it, and then we should subtract it. 2 times n squared, and then times 2. So then, this thing, n squared, all squared. I'm going to write this first. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times n squared, and then plus 2 squared. Of course, this is n squared, then plus 2, all squared. This is a squared term. And then minus. 2 times 2 is 4 times n squared. This part, this section, is n squared plus 2 all squared. However, negative 4 times n squared. This 4 times n squared, how should we deal with it? Of course, I have a check. It is also a square number. It is also a square term. 4 times n squared, it is equal to 2n and then all squared. 2 times n all squared, we can deal with it successfully. So then, use the formula a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b and then times a minus b. The addition of these two terms. n squared then plus 2n plus 2 times n squared, uh, sorry, minus 2n and then plus 2. Oh, what's that thing? It's a bug, isn't it? So this is minus, forgive me, my pen is old. Now, have we finished? Of course not. Take a look at the things which in the brackets n squared then plus 2 and then plus 2. n squared minus 2 and then plus 2. Mm. n squared plus 2n. n squared minus 2n. Usually, plus 1. Plus 1. If here were plus 1, then n squared then plus 2 and then plus 1 and n squared minus 2 and then plus 1 would be square terms. 
in plus one or squared and in minus one or squared. However, here is two. It's not one. What should we do? Of course, it doesn't matter. This can be written as n plus one or squared. Since here is two, if you calculate it, it is n squared then plus two and then plus one. So we we lack a one. Then plus it, add it here. Here, of course, the same thing actually. A minus one all squared. We lack a one. Then, so now the general form can be factorized into this form. It looks more complicated. However, it will help us solve this question. So then, now the numerator and the denominator. They will change a lot. First thing, I will write it here. The numerator. N. The first letter of the word, numerator, is N. So write an N here. We know that N to the power four and then plus four. It is equal to. I'm gonna write a minus one squared. And then plus one first, and then times n plus one, all squared, and then plus one. So it is it is equal to this thing. For the numerator, n is equal to three, seven, and eleven, and for the denominator, n is equal to five, nine, and thirteen. Let's deal with the numerator first. Three to the power four, then plus four. It is equal to. Three minus one is two, so it is two squared and then plus one. Just substitute it into this term, this formula, and then times three plus one all squared. It is four squared plus one, and then times seven minus one is six. Six squared and then plus one. And then times seven plus one all squared, it is eight. Eight squared, and then plus one. Eleven minus one is ten. Ten squared plus one. And then times. Oh my God! Is there any place anymore? I don't know. Maybe or maybe not. I don't know. Of course, I have to try to write it here. Eleven plus one all squared, it is twelve squared. And then plus one. I have to move the camera. So then let's deal with the denominator, d. Of course, then we should divide the numerator by the denominator. For denominator, for the denominator, n is equal to five first. Five minus one is four. Four squared plus one. And then times. Five plus one is six. Six squared plus one. For nine, nine minus one is eight, so it is eight squared plus one. And then times nine plus one is ten. Ten squared plus one. Just substitute the numbers into our this term, this formula. That's okay. For thirteen, thirteen minus one is twelve. So it is twelve squared, then plus one. Thirteen plus one is fourteen, so it's fourteen squared, then plus one. There's a secret. Although I didn't write it so straight, we can find the secret. What's the secret? It is numerator divided by the denominator. Here will be also a fraction line. That's interesting, isn't it? What's the secret? Have you found four squared plus one on the numerator on the denominator? Six squared plus one numerator denominator. Eight squared plus one and eight squared plus one on the numerator on the denominator. Ten squared plus one on the numerator on the denominator and twelve to the power two then plus one on on the denominator and also on the numerator. So that's the same. That's the secret. The importance of this question is five minus one is equal to three plus one, nine minus one is equal to seven plus one, thirteen minus one is equal to eleven plus one.
The result two squared plus one and then divide it by fourteen squared plus one. So two squared plus one it is five. Fourteen squared then plus one it is it is one hundred and ninety seven. So the final answer is 5 over 197. Have you got it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.